yeah, what's up? It's great. I just recorded my podcast. Um, you guys haven't watched it. It's already out by the time this video comes out. Go watch my podcast. Got this new cup. It is finally time to fix this mess. Okay, this is the mess I've got. Okay, um, this is it. I'm going to try to get this stuff off my face. This is the before. I actually bought one of these to put on my desk to organize my makeup a little bit better because that little brush set is not hit. It's not, it's not good enough for me. So I'm gonna put some brushes in here and some essentials and I'm very excited. Okay, this is it. Um, my desk is still a mess, but I got this all situated. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. Um, it did bleed like the smallest amount. I knew it was gonna happen, but I'm hoping it's not that big of a deal. Red hair in a hand-me-down robe. You must be a wizard. This is where I'm at. Okay, real quick before I even get started with my makeup, I want to show you what my eyebrows look like now. I probably ended up dyeing them for like 15-20 minutes instead of the 5, so that's why they look so dark, but that's kind of what I wanted because my hair is black in the back. So hopefully they look good with my makeup, but they, it does work. Um, I'm watching Sam and Kobe's new Sam and Kobe reacts new video, and I just wanted to say one pet peeve I really have is I like ghost hunting. Like I like all of it, but I like all of it. But one problem I do have is whenever people go to places where someone's murdered, specifically um, a place where someone was murdered or a serial killer was known to be and they think the serial killer is haunting the place. And so they try to solve the crimes. And I'm like, and they try, or they try to talk to the ghost of a serial killer, of a serial killer. And I'm like, and they, and they, tru I don't know if they truly believe it or they're just doing it for the camera. They truly believe that they're talking to the ghost of whatever serial killer it is. And they're like solving this big thing, and I'm like, you're delusional. Okay, this is the hair. Now on camera, it does look pretty blue. In real life, it's more of a green, but that's okay. But I, it looks so much better. I now love this hair. So, so redying it was totally worth it. Introducing the Met Gala review. Okay, what am I doing? So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna look at some of the Met Gala outfits and review them. Now, I do know the theme. The theme is 
Garden of Time. Do I really know what that means? <sighs> to be determined, okay? So, we're going to put on the screen over here the people I'm reviewing, okay? Now, I am basing it off of the theme as much to my knowledge as I can, okay? And it has nothing to do with the celebrity, just what they're wearing. And I know nothing about fashion, as you can see. So, yeah. First, we have Zendaya. I love Zendaya, okay? But just looking at the outfit... Love, she ate it up. Does it really follow the theme? I mean, it kind of does, but I'm, it does. But like at the same time, I'm like, hmm. Well, I guess because she has like the flowers. What is like? What does she like have on her dress? I'm trying to. Are those supposed to be berries? Oh, I think they're berries. Okay, and let's look at this makeup. She looks so pretty with, like, the no eyebrows. I... Okay. We're gonna do out of five stars. Yeah. So, I'm gonna give her four stars. She looks great. Okay, next we have Bad Bunny. Um... Uh, um... Um... <laughs> sorry. Uh, that's all I can think of when I look at this picture. That's all. The three blind mice, that's all. I mean, what does it really have to do with Garden of Time? Unless I'm missing a reference. Besides him having flowers in his hand. He doesn't look bad at all. It's just like, it doesn't really match the theme. But he is being a little bit more, like some guys just wear a suit and that's it. So he's being a little bit more on theme than others. But because it doesn't really match the theme, I'm gonna have to give him three stars. I just, I don't know. He's, it's not bad, but it's just like, you could do more. Okay, next we have the Lady of the Night, Anna Wintour. Um, isn't she like the owner of the Met Gala? Or am I wrong? I'm pretty sure she's like the one who made the Met Gala. Um, boring. You're the person who made this whole event. You know the theme. Why are you wearing that? Like, why? I'm sorry, it's so boring. One star, it's boring. I'm sorry. Okay, Emma Chamberlain. Okay, when I first saw this, was not feeling it. I think it's supposed to be like a vine, like tree look, which I did not get the first time I saw it. But I think that's what it's supposed to be like. It's like a tree, okay? So, based off of this photo alone, I was like, uh, no. But then I saw her on TikTok, and I, like, looked at her makeup stuff. She looks beautiful. And I think now it is, like, a tree look. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's trees. So, I'm gonna have to give her a five. She looks so pretty. She's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have Jenny from the Black. Jennifer Lopez. Now, do I like Jennifer Lopez? No. Does this really go on theme? I don't think so. I don't think this is on theme at all. She looks beautiful though. She looks so pretty. This dress is so pretty. And because of that, even though it's not as much on theme, maybe, maybe it's supposed to be like, I think maybe those are, is this also tree inspired, but like glittery? I don't know, I don't think it's on theme. Maybe I'm wrong. But because of that, I'm going to give it four stars because she does look really beautiful. Um, next we have Cardi B. Hate it. I don't like Cardi B as a person either. Sorry. I don't, I don't like it. It's not on theme at all. She showed up in a black dress. Unless her, she's like trying to be like a crow or something. Like, no. No. One star. One star. No. So we, I don't know how to say her name, her last name. Um, she's like in Avatar and everything. I love her too. Avatar is one of my favorite movies. What is she wearing? What is she wearing? I'm sorry. She looks beautiful. Like she's glowing and her hair is so pretty, but for the Met Gala, this plain dress. Why does it say Chloe? Maybe I'm missing something. Why does it say Chloe? And the boots. The boots. 
One star. I'm sorry. I love her. One star. Dula Peep. Dua Lipa. Again, I love Dua Lipa. This is absolutely hideous. I'm so sorry. I even watched, like, a video of her on TikTok, like, explaining it. Still don't like it. I get, like, the feathers and everything, but, like, it's ugly. But I guess it's on theme. Because I think it's on theme, I'll give it a two. But uh, it's ugly. I'm sorry. She looks beautiful. Dress is ugly. Next we have Kendall Jenner. <sighs> One star. Cynthia. I also don't know how to say her last name. Love her. She, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. This so? No, girl. No. No. Two stars. Two because it's on theme and everything. I just do not like it at all. I don't like it one bit. Uh, her makeup looks gorgeous. Oh, my God. Okay. Doja Cat. No. I did watch the whole video of her explaining it. So, it's not like I'm not getting it. She explained that cotton is the most used form of flower. I get that. So she And, like, a t-shirt is such a classic staple. I still don't like it. It's what... I think it was an, kind of an excuse to do nothing. But she did also mention, like, that was her point. Because last year, she did so much that she wanted to, like, do the opposite. I just don't really like it. And why is she crying? I get that she's wet, but, like, I, I, I do, I don't know. <sighs> Two stars. Two stars. Sorry. Okay, next we have Lizzo. Also... I thought Lizzo wasn't a celebrity anymore. I thought she was trying to stay out of the light. I thought she quit doing all that. So why is she at the Met Gala? No. This is not a video to body shame anyone. I think all the disgusting things that have to do with this outfit about her weight. Gross. Grow up. This has nothing to do with her body. Shut up. Okay? I love this i don't like lizzo sorry um i love it i don't like the top i know a lot of people don't like the top but i think the dress is so pretty her nails are weird i don't like her nails but the dress and then they all correlating with the makeup she looks beautiful um i give her four star four stars only because i don't like the top and then Cara Delevingne. I saw videos of her, of her at this event, and it, looked, it was really sad because she does not look in the right spot at all. She does not look like she's in the right space at all. I don't like it. I don't get... What does this have to do with the theme at all? Uh, again, I... Oh, zero. One. I'll say one. Okay, Jenna Ortega. I love Jenna Ortega. She's so beautiful. She looks beautiful. This outfit is not it. But I'm going to give her two stars because she still is beautiful. But outfit's not it, okay? Ellie Fanning. Elle Fanning, however you say it. When I first saw this, I was like, what does that have to do with Garden of Time? But then I looked. I didn't see the birds. So, like, once I saw the birds and I realized the vision, stunning. She looks beautiful. And I love how she wears like kind of like a no makeup makeup look. Like not like other people do where they claim they have no makeup. I mean, you could tell she clearly has makeup on. But it's not like the normal makeup that everyone does. She doesn't have lashes on or anything like that. She looks beautiful. Five stars. She looks perfect. Demi Moore. I hate it. I, I, she looks pretty. That necklace is so pretty. I don't like, I don't, it's on theme though, but I don't like it. Because it's on theme now, I'll give it three stars, but no. Gigi Hadid. It is on theme. I just realized, I think it's, I just realized looking at it now, it's a tux at her waist. That's like, it's like a tux dress that's falling off of her. That's interesting. I still think it's ugly 
And those vines look like she got them at the thrift store. Sorry. Uh, two stars. Sorry. Michelle, I don't know how to say her last name. Hate it. Why is she tinfoil? And also, the, is that an Apple Watch or just a watch? I can't tell. I don't like it. No. One star. Okay. Then last, we have Jeff Goldblum. I put him in here because I wanted a guy in here. Now, I wanted to show he looks... Oh, I, I did have another guy in here. I had Bad Bunny in here. Pfft, whatever. I don't like it. I know him. Barely. I think he wears kind of crazier stuff. I thought, at least. Maybe I'm wrong. This is so boring. I mean... It's boring. It's boring. <laughs> Two stars. That's all I got for you. If you, don't, if you don't agree with my opinion, let me know down below. Tell me who you think was the best dress at the Met Gala. And I will look them up. And I will see if I agree. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, um, I want to show you guys real quick my stuff, my stuff that I've changed, whatever. So, I've got the pink and the green in the hair, right? I've got the clips for pink and green. I'm wearing a pink shirt, and then you can't see here. I have a pink tank top underneath it, okay? But I've also changed other things, like this is my phone case I'm changing into. It's pink marble, and then I have this green chain thingy. I have this pink and green Vera Bradley. Look, it literally is perfect. Look, okay, whatever. And then for my food, I've got my pink bag. Um, I don't like this company, but I do have this cup. I've had it for years, so yeah, that's green. And then my water is pink. So I've got all kinds of stuff. And then the makeup today, as you already saw, pink and green. <sighs> it's a good day. It's a good day. Let me show you my lunchbox. First, cottage cheese. I use this brand, it's the only one I like. fill it up this much. Next we have hummus. This again is the only one I really like. And I do about two spoonfuls. Like about about this much. And then I use these to dip it in. The best kind. And I do about this many. Next pepperonis whatever brand. And then a Clawson app. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna make my oatmeal.
stand there like this. And I just want to say, sorry if you can't understand me, he looks so dirty because he rolls around on the floor in the bathroom. That's why he has fuzz all over him. And that's why there's fuzz flying everywhere because he loves to roll around and get dirty. Also, I know I talked about it in the community tab, which if you guys don't see, I sometimes post on the community tab on here on YouTube. So check out for that every now and then. It's very, very rare, but it does happen. But I am going to make a video if I get enough um, entries um, next week. It'll be in that vlog. But comment down below or go to my tell tell on him, my tell on him, whatever, down below in my link tree. It's always down below. You can send me your anonymous confessions or if you don't care to be anonymous send them down below in the comments and I'll I'm gonna do reaction to all of them next vlog so make sure you do that if you want I have to show you this makeup look okay this is Foscara I don't know if they I'm pretty sure they have different versions of these package of lashes I don't know the version sorry um and then, so what I did, I've tried many times to get these to work, and very angrily, I couldn't do it. Like, literally, it made me so mad I had to stop even trying. But today, I I put, applied an eyelash glue. It's the one I've already reviewed before. It's the Ioni Eyelash Liner. And then I, um, to each individual one, I applied lash glue. I didn't wait that long for it to dry because I had the liner. So it actually was, it didn't take me that long, but it is kind of annoying to apply every single little cluster. So I did that and then after I did all of it, I sealed it and bonded it with the little Falskira thingy. Okay, I think they look really pretty. But okay, bye.